Hi, this is nothingwire.com and we have the Samsung Wave Y here today. This is Samsung's third line of smartphone called Wave, uh, which is run on their in-house Bada OS. Of course, you might think um, they are overshadowed by their Android run Galaxy lineup, but they still have a decent um, smartphones in this line as well. So, uh, Wave Y is placed at the entry level. It's a sub $200 phone or about 7,000 Indian rupees. We will quickly go ahead and give an overview of the hardware first. So as you can see, uh, it's a 3.2 inch glossy LCD capacitive screen. It's very glossy, so you might want to clean it very frequently to avoid you know, having fingerprints on the screen. There's nothing much on the front screen to talk about except the huge home key. There are also two touch buttons, the call button and the end button. Yeah. So on the left side is the volume rocker, and below is the micro USB port, then on the right side we have the power key and then the 3.5 mm jack. The back side is you know, mainly plastic, but you have this nice you know, brush metal uh, feel to it that, make, that makes it look uh, like a premium phone. It also has a 2 MP back camera. There is no front camera. There is no LED flash. You have the speaker here. And uh, uh, built wise it looks solid although it's not the slimmest phone around mind you. But then it fits in your hand very nicely. And this rounded edge will make sure that uh, it does not slip off your hand while you are talking on the go. We will quickly go ahead and open the back flap. And there's a 1200 mAh battery. There is provision for the micro SD card. And then there's there goes the SIM. We'll switch it on now. As you can see, Samsung Wave Y Y stands for Young GTS 5380K. It's model number. There we go. At the first sight, those who are not familiar with Bada might think it's an Android phone because the touch switch here is greatly similar to that on the uh, Galaxy lineup of phones. Uh, this LCD screen is little crisper than the earlier Bada entry level phones. And uh, you have a number of home screen like you have on an Android device, but unlike on an Android device, you have the leftmost screen fixed for the live widgets. You cannot customize the live widgets uh, home screen. You can of course enable or disable them by long pressing the screen. You can disable the widgets and they won't appear. Go ahead and enable them and they'll appear again rest all you can customize you can either add home screens or you can delete them okay. so there are very few widgets uh, available to add on the home screen to add an icon to the home screen you actually need to go to the main menu and long press the icon drag it to one of the home screens and there you go the icon here you can of course remove it so there is the main menu very similar to an android power phone 
but there's a nice feature feature in uh, Bada where you can create a folder very quickly and place uh, multiple icons in it. For that, all you need to do is let's say I want to place two icons here: the contact icon and the voice CMD icon. So I'll press both of these simultaneously, and they go together as a folder. And you also have a nice animation where you can see without opening the folder which uh, icons are, which apps are there in the folder. You can of course remove them from the. You can of course remove them from the folder. The the wave I also have a app dock where you can have your uh, most used apps. Uh, it can be customized only from the menu button, on, only from the menu. A long press on the app dock to remove any app and place any app. In the app dock. There you go. Then, long, uh, pressing the home menu ideally brings you to the home, but long pressing it will bring up the task manager. Then, as you can see, you can create a folder from here also. Click on the folder icon here. Folder icon here, and then you can drag it there. You can drag it to the folder here, and there we go. We have a nice little nifty folder with the camera and calendar button. Okay, so we'll quickly go ahead and uh, show you some default app that come with the WaveWire. And you can see, apart from the usual uh, the Samsung apps like Chat On, Social Hub, All Share, um, you also have some other apps called. Um, Yahoo Messenger, YouTube, and uh, then you have the MSN Messenger, and then the Google Mobile Shortcut app. Okay. Uh, the browser is an updated. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll uh, deactivate the flight mode first. We'll deactivate the first flight mode first. So, um, and then we'll go to the browser. It's an updated Dolphin browser. It's cleaner and faster than the earlier entry-level Bada phones, but it still does not support flash. As you can see, the pinching zoom works, but it's kind of shaggy. It's, it's, it's not very smooth. Scrolling is fine. You can add new windows here. Add new windows here. So there's the browser for you. Um, music, and you have a nice sound actually. Um, uh, we like the speaker output a lot. You also have a 5.1 channel output, but you can only use it while wearing a headphone. And then we have the camera. Nothing much to talk about here, but it's it's very fast. And uh, what I like in the setting is exposure metering. It has the metrics exposure metering, which is good. But a 2 MP camera would not do justice to the quality of the photos exactly the way you want it. Then we have um, the task, uh, the FM radio sadly does not work without the earphones connected. And what else, what else? We have the dialer. Again, sadly, um, 
it does not bring up the number when you type the name so if I type P A L L A B it does not bring up the name you have to know a bit of the number now it brings up the number name see so we might want to uh, improve that messaging is fine you have the threaded messaging system and you can also quickly attach images videos or music with your um, message the virtual keypad the virtual quickly go ahead and show you the virtual keypad and you can have the 3x4 keypad like it has right now or you can have the QWERTY keyboard but mind you it's it's uh, if you have the QWERTY keyboard activated it's really very very small and even for small fingers like mine it's very hard to type here but when you go to the landscape mode it's still better you can you can type it more comfortably well um yeah, so i guess that's pretty much about it um at at less than 200 dollars you might have to trade off uh, some feature of the premium phones but then one thing's for sure the bada os is much more stable and um, it does not hang at all there is not m much lag except when you have opened many apps but then you can always go to the task manager and kill them all um, it's much more stable than an android and specifically android at this entry level so if you are not particularly finicky about android and uh, you don't mind trying out a new OS but you want something that's stable and that does not uh, you know leave you wanting for more in the middle of the road then you might want to go for this handset at this price point you also have the Galaxy Y you also have um, Spice handsets and you also uh, probably have some Symbian handsets but if you if you are thinking about a Symbian handset go for this one because this is better than a Symbian handset the only problem this one has is uh, the very less footprint which we expect to change in the future and even we expect the app number to increase in the future um, till that happens enjoy the stable handset